Hello everybody, my name is Tucker, and welcome back to our Russian Fishing for Float Fishing series. So today I did a little bit of a dumb. I went and bought a new polar rod, which I definitely needed and wanted to go back to white fishing, or fishing for whitefish over at Quarry. And then I came back here to Oldberg to buy stonefly larva because they've got the 30 pack here. But I miscalculated how much the stonefly larva cost as well as including travel expenses to get here. So right now I actually don't have enough silver to get back to uh, quarry. So I'm gonna do a little bit of carp fishing here. If I get anything good, I'll come back. Right now I've got a one kilo crucian, but uh, if I get anything good, you've seen me do this enough times, I don't think I necessarily need to show it off again. So if I catch anything good, we'll be back. And then once I get enough silver to go back to quarry, we'll head over there. And we're back here. I didn't catch anything super major. Did get two big common carp, though. So a couple of uh, fish that kind of strained things a little bit. But quick 28 silver in the bank. Probably spent about 10 minutes fishing there. <clears throat> Excuse me, but that does get us enough to get back to quarry. And then when we get there, I'll show you what I bought and why I decided to do that as well, too. So I did buy a new bolo rod, and I actually need to completely configure it. Uh, I also noticed a few minutes ago when I was trying to configure things that I did another little bit of a dumb. And I forgot you actually need a true bolognese float to use a true bolognese style rod. And right now I only have one in there. About 30 silver a piece, so um, I'm going to switch this rod, which we've been using, to fix float. You can still use it a bit like a, um, a bolo rod in that you can still cast it out and still have the leader, the, uh, the rod, the reel on it so you can reel it in. So this is the one we've had all along. Uh, I just switched it back to fix float. And then the new one that I bought is this Fortuna Bolognese 7, 700. So as you can tell, it's a, or as you may be able to guess, it's a seven meter rod. The other one's a three, or is an eight meter rod. The big difference is this is considered a light rod. So it actually has some bonuses to it. Uh, all light rods have a t at least a 25% uh, bonus to XP. This one also has a plus one to using the Bolognese rig ability. So that's why I want this one to be Bolo Rod is that, and I put the Bolo Float back on uh, the other rod here. That's why I want this one to be considered a true bolognese rig is that gives us that bonus so even if i have three skill points that plus one will stack so uh, right now i've got seven skill points in fishing with a bolognese rod so or three skill points in using a bolognese rig i now have four on this rod so that's why i want this one to be in a bolognese rig configuration uh, you do have to have a 1,000, 2,000, or 3,000 series reel, or size reel. So that is one of the differences there. So just kind of keep in mind that. Um, I did want to kind of grind up a little more silver than I made over at Oldberg. To, I wish I could have bought some additional stack of... Um, I was just taking a quick look at the cafe there. I wish I could have bought another stack of Stonefly larvae, they're about 35 silver, and I didn't want to grind that much up off camera. So figured I'd come here, we'd make some silver, and then we'll go back to Oldberg, buy some more Stonefly larva, uh, assuming the spot's still active, and we'll go from there. So thinking I'm going to do two, the two Bolognese rods we'll have set up for Stonefly larva. And then I'll have the bottom rod set up for cock chafers. So we come back over here to 92, 100. 
on the rock here. And on a 15 meter clip. And a 15 meter clip. And then I need to put the active bottom rod, one that actually has a reel on it. Uh, let's go ahead and just take the cage off, put the sinker on. I uh, need to go smaller hooks. We'll go to size 10 and cock chafers. I was too late on that. So I'm getting a message at work that I need to deal with real quick. So I'm going to reel these in real quick. Shouldn't take too long, and then we'll be back for evening fishing here at Quarry. So be right back. And we're back here. Um, cast everything out real quick, and looks like we're starting to get a bite already. So give me just a second, and I'll shut the bottom rod up. There's nothing on it, it's actually just hanging and is heavy enough that it's setting off the bells here. But looks like we got a roach over here on rod three. Sorry for a little bit of the disjointedness of today. I didn't want to catch something big and not have it on camera or not have a good explanation of why I wasn't recording when I caught it with the fishing back at Oldberg for a little bit. Caught this roach, didn't even know there was anything on this rod. Take a roach to the face here. Again, I always like to make sure I have my bottom rod or my uh, bolo rods with the bales open when they're just sitting in the water. Got another fish on before I can even cast the bottom rod with the sinker and the cock chafer on there, it's heavy enough that it sets off the bite bells when it's just dangling like that. Another good roach. Let's see if I can actually get this cast out. I'm gonna go ahead and switch the quiver tip and I want a 15 meter uh, clip on that one and it's actually out in the water too good so again th this spot was on VK yesterday uh, very much was using sandwich baits which we don't have unlocked yet with stonefly larva and cock chafers um, stonefly larva had we came here yesterday things were very successful so I wanted to come back again today. I want some more stonefly larva, but right now here at Quarry, they only have the 300 bundle and it's somewhere around 200 silver. At Oldberg, they do have the 30 count of cock chafer, of a uh, stonefly larva. So I was able to buy some more there. That's part of why I went back to Oldberg between episodes, but um yesterday we got a bunch of good quarry whitefish here vendices roaches things like that made a lot of xp and a good amount of silver too so i think we'll be able to afford going back to oldberg and coming here so it's eight silver i think to go to oldberg and 26 to come back here so we need to make at least 70 silver to be able to afford more stonefly larva back at Oldberg before we go there. I would like to be able to get two sets of stonefly larva. So I would like to have a little, about a hundred silver. We'll see what we can get today. 
Ah, I missed that one. That was my fault. It is just back to back to back here. Kind of hard to even talk. It's been so busy. Here's a, another decent roach. Let's pull this in, get it cast back out. All right. Got everything in the water. Got everything ready to go finally for the first time today. So goal, I would love to see level 18 today. I'm not going to say it's going to happen. Uh, yesterday we did get enough XP to make it happen, but we'll see. Especially if we get a couple of good wh whitefish on the new rod too here, the new bolo rod with the 25% bonus to XP. That would be great. And we'll see if going through the night is worth it or not. I honestly don't know. I expect it will be. But we'll just have to watch and see. Good Vendus there. Again, just take a I'm taking up a little bit of the slack here just so that once there's an actually a bite on here, I don't even really have to do anything other than just turn the rod to the side and it'll hook the fish. With this one being a little bit shorter than the other rod, makes it a little bit easier there. I still like to keep the bail open so that I can pick the rod up without moving the float. But there's, so it's a medium light tackle, 30, an extra 38 XP there. I'll take it. Now we just need to get a Cory Whitefish on there. And I need to tighten this up. Both of them getting a nibble at the same time. Got one on this rod. Ah, I was too late on that one. Oh well. Worth a try. Another roach. Go ahead and reel this in and we'll recast it. You know what? I probably didn't reset the depth on those, did I? This one definitely I didn't. That's why I wasn't seeing a lot of bites on it at all. I want to go down to 1.5 meters. Did I set this one? This one I did. Okay, good.
So again, all you really have to do to hook the fish is just start reeling and turn to the side. You can right click, you can control right click, you don't have to. Another decent roach here by the looks of it. And that's really what I've been seeing folks catch and post are roaches, quarry white fish, occasional eyed, and vendices. Come on, hit me in the face, Roach. I would like something other than roaches. Roaches are probably the least valuable of the fish. But I'll take what I can get, obviously. Another roach. What size hook did I actually put on there? 14? That's about right. 13s were what I saw posted. I don't have any 13s. And right now I'm not going to just buy a 13. Get some rock worms. I'm a little worried about having the heavy quiver tip on that bottom rod because of the vendices being small, so. It's part of why I did that little reel in there was just to check and see if something happened to be on it. Did put a smaller hook on there, didn't I? Yeah, put a ten. With the craziness of having to switch around the rig. Couldn't remember if I actually had done that and getting bites as soon as I tossed it into the water. Looks like a Vendus. It is. 415 gram Vendus. 885, 855 XP. Partially thanks to the bonus 25%. Uh, 
Not bad. So next steps here for me are obviously maybe a little bit more stonefly larva, things like that. Um, I do need to get a second bolo float so that I can get that rod three over to a bolo rig instead of a fixed float rig. Um, that's really all I have thought through at this point another good vendus there's something over on two that i want to get to Ooh, barely got there in time roach probably also should get a second leader for the bowler rod I just thought of. Immediate bite this time over here. Looks like another roach. And then level 18 unlocks bear, which means a little bit bigger carp, a little bit different fishing there. So looking forward to being able to go to bear. But we still need 45,000 XP. No, 35,000. Math hard. I saw six and 100. Did the math wrong. So 35,000, a little bit less than 35,000 XP to get there. Still very possible to get quickly uh, the quarry whitefish for 10,000 XP a piece that we caught yesterday. So, not going to roll out that. Not going to say we're going to get there either. Small fish here, probably a Vendus. Yep. One, two, three, Vendus. Got here in time for this fish. Grayling. Small one, but might be a marker. It is. First Grayling on Bolo. Ah, uh, too late on that one. Too late on both of them. That's just the... You saw the float there moving on three. That was just it sinking into the water.
It does have to go down a fair amount, meter and a half. Oh, come on. Perch. Decent fish here, probably a bigger roach. I might, yeah, that's a roach. Almost looked like an Arctic char for a second. Six hundred eighty-three gram roach. Don't like how spread out the rods have got, or the floats got there. Oh, that's okay, because I missed this fish. So I get to recast it. The wind's picking up. I don't know if you saw how far that uh, cast blew. Oh, fish got away. Shameful, angry. <laughs> Cast just got blown straight back at me. Do a quick dig. Nothing special. Another Vendus. God, the wind. Actually going to reel this one in. It's so far spread out. It's not really where I want it to be. That's better. Although the floats are crossed, so three's on the left and two's on the right. Usually I like to try and keep them the other way since three's on the right or two on the keyboard. More 
Clockworms. Uh, that's two that's going down. This is a good fish. It's a roach. Not quite as good as I thought it was going to be. You are a big Vendus. No, you're a small white fish. 872 XP. That's unfortunate. I thought they were giving a lot more yesterday. Maybe that was just such a small marker. Oh, well, it was Bolo. I don't think the rig type plays into how much XP you get. Maybe it does. Good news is I got my floats on the correct side of each other again. A little too much tension on that. Nope. Small roach. So I think I've got four stonefly larvae that are not already accounted for. Just making sure I didn't have any on another rod. So I think it said six and there should be two in use right now. We're about 35 minutes into the episode, got 25 fish. We're probably about 32, 30 minutes of actual fishing between me explaining everything that I had done and moving from Oldberg, etc. but we're probably going to run out of stonefly larva soon, so we're going to have to make a decision what I'm going to do. Some of it will obviously depend on how much silver we actually made. Right now, I'm not thinking it's an amazing amount. 
but I could always be wrong. Another small marker roach. And honestly, I'm still having fun fishing for non-carp, so I'm okay with it. Because I know when we get over to bear, we'll be fishing for carp. Granted, it'll be a little bit bigger carp, but... Be a little bit more of the same. Although we'll probably be doing some bolo fishing instead of telestick fishing there too, so be different in that respect. Oh, come on, Tucker. I am getting this episode done a little bit early today. It's actually morning. Not too not too long before midtime, midday meal. And some four-legged things starting to remind me that it's pretty close to time to feed him. So this may be a bit of a shorter episode. I probably could have included the fishing I did at Oldberg, but wasn't sure. I was hoping I got enough to have two sets of stonefly larvae and can spend some extra time here, but it is what it is. Did I seriously miss that? Wow. And that one surprised me. I'm kind of surprised how quiet the bottom rod has been. I'm actually going to reel it in and recast it just because it has done nothing all night. Saw a bit of a bite there on this one, but never a full bite. Now we're getting closer. There we go. That's uh, a decent fish. Another roach, though. 794 gram.
That's a quarry white fish. No, that's a small lake trout. Not what I was expecting. A baby lake trout. And that was 800 gram. They get over 10 kilos. Easy. And if you we look at weekly records for Lakers, 15 kilos. Now, I've actually pulled a, uh, you can watch my spin fishing account. I've pulled a trophy Laker, which is 10 kilos out on a, one of the Lacerdes not upgraded. It was a 3.8 kilo reel. That was f a fun time. But that was trolling in the boat. Huh, first common minnow I've caught. I was trolling in the boat. So I was able to chase it around the lake for probably about 15 minutes before I actually pulled it in. I missed it. So that was a fun time. And uh, a nice surprise when I actually pulled it out. I was thinking it was a you know, four, five, six kilo fish. Pull it out and it's a 10 kilo fish. I was a little surprised. When I heard the trophy sound, I almost didn't believe it. Vendis here. And I think that's going to be the last stonefly lock. Oh, it still says I have one more. Okay, good to know. Since there was a stonefly larva already on three, I figured I was done. My guess is I now have the last two out in the water. Maybe I have one more. I don't know. We'll see. Another smaller fish, probably another Vendus. Uh, nope, tiny roach. All right, so we are out of stonefly larva. I'll cast out a cockchafer. And then whenever we catch something on two, we'll probably call it for the day. I didn't look to see if there was any patch notes or anything like that. I'm going to guess not because there wasn't a news. I just saw the announcement of the weekly trophy or weekly uh, not trophy competition. And that's how they were announcing the downtime yesterday. And the brain made a connection. Did miss a fish there while I was talking too. Hooked them both, good. Small quarry whitefish. 
four, three hundred and something XP. We'll see what we have here. Doesn't look super impressive. High lake trout. So 33 fish today, not too bad. Uh, not the best either, but we'll go see what we made. Hopefully it's enough to go back and buy some more stonefly larvae and come back. I don't know. We'll see. I would like for it to be. I don't think I had anything over at the cafe. So 67. I think that's going to be enough. That might be tight. I've got seven left over. I'll probably try it. And if I need to catch a few fish over at um, Oldberg, I can. We're one short on Vendices. That's unfortunate. So nothing, nothing here like I thought. So a little bit of a slow day, a little bit of a small fish day, but still, still entertaining because it's different fish and different styles of fishing for me. So appreciate everyone watching. We're up to 74 silver. I think that's enough to go back to Oldberg. Uh, I may try and do a bream night at Oldberg and then come back here tomorrow, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So I appreciate everyone watching. Hope you all have good tight lines. And we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye-bye now.